Hello, this demonstration is for the CTrader one-click trading terminal. Uh, this terminal is a small widget that you can drag about the screen and execute trades with predefined risk. Uh, at the moment I've got a one-minute chart open and I've dragged the uh, CBOT onto the screen. So when you download the software it will be a CBOT, you just drag it onto the chart and you click the play button. Uh, this one is a 15-day trial so it just comes up and tells you that. Okay, and then you'll, what you'll see is a little widget window. Now we've got seven different widgets that you can buy separately or buy all together as part of a package like a collection. So you can just buy this as it is and you can access all these, all these here. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to uh, watch another video and how to access the web page where you can find out more about all the other widgets. But this video is just for the uh, one-click trading terminal. Because we launched uh, the CBOT on this chart, CTrader actually lock you off from changing the uh, time frame. It's an inbuilt thing on the platform. We don't have any control of that. Best thing you can do is just open up another chart, in this case one here, um, and actually use this chart. Then you can change the time frame to anything you want and you've got full access. The uh, chart that you launched the CBOT from, it's, you're kind of restricted. You can still trade from it, but you can't change the time frames, okay? So, you know, We'll start off now by opening up the uh, one-click trading terminal. This is what you'll see. It's a very simple little widget screen you can drag around. Uh, it's always on top, so when you look at your charts, it's always there. The whole idea that we did this small widget uh, is mainly because if you wanted to see the price action and you're working on very low, you know, very you know, low time frames or it's very volatile, if you look at the candle formation now with your eye, if you look at where the line is going, the orange line, uh, if you wanted to execute a trade, you can move this widget somewhere where you can hover your mouse over the buy and sell. You're looking at the price action and you can pretty much for your peripheral vision execute buy or sell immediately without taking your eye away from the price. So it'll be a split second execution exactly when you want it. So if you're doing very small, um, finer sort of trading like scalping, this is an invaluable tool. Now what I'm going to do is take this away and now you're looking at the chart at the price action. You want to execute a trade without using the terminal. You have to take your now, now look up to where the mouse is up here, where the, the little buy or sell buttons are up there. You cannot peripheral vision do a buy or sell in this respect. You can hover your mouse over it, I suppose, but you don't know if you're going to the buy or sell. So the whole idea is um, you've got your trading buttons very close to the price action so you can execute the trades immediately. Um, you can with CTrader create a new order but it creates such a large screen that you drag on. You don't really want a screen this big over your candle action. You can't see what's going on. So the whole, whole idea is it's very small. If you turn one click settings off, you get an even smaller widget. Now this is a very simple, if you use this method, it just very simply executes a trade uh, just with the predefined lots or, sit or volume and no other risk management, no stop loss or take profit set. It's just buy or sell. Again, if you adjust the lots here, it auto adjusts the volume. So whether you want to trade in lots or volume, it just auto calculate it for you. It's a very simple little buy or sell. You can uh, modify the lots or volume. If you turn the one click settings on, this is what it's really important to now. Also, please note that when you open up the uh, widget window, it, uh, everything that you do for the buy or sell it is only for the uh, symbol or the instrument that you launch the platform launched on the chart. So in this case, we launched it on the euro dollar chart. It will only execute euro dollar trades. Okay. You can have as many, oh, sorry about that. You can have as many uh, widgets as you want. You can have as many um, of these up for each different instrument, but it's mainly designed for a single instrument, but you can have it on multiple if you want. So if you're trading just one uh, symbol, this is what you want to use. Okay. So I'll open up now the, the panel, the main panel. So this is just a configuration panel. It doesn't matter where I put it. Uh, the first page, the first pane you'll see is, um, which is forex position sizing. So in this case, this will this will calculate a forex uh, position depending on the stop loss. So it will auto calculate your lots. So you can pre predefine how much you want to risk. So in this case, if you say I only want to risk ten pounds of your um, capital with a ten pip stop loss, it's calculated that your lot size will be 0.1. So if you apply this, it'll actually tell you. You know, you, you'll have a preset uh, lot sized. Every time you execute an order, it's going to be 10 pips will be 10 pounds you're, you're risking. So every trade you go into, you say, I only want to risk five pounds. I only want to risk 100 pounds. And this will help you calculate that. Um, you've got another one here, which is a uh, percentage of your equity. So I only want to risk 0.1% of my equity because my equity is 98,089 pounds. 1.1% of that equity is 98 pounds and nine pence. 
Um, so this helps you. This helps you really work out how much of your equity you wanna you wanna risk at any time with a 10 pip stop loss. So obviously, if I change the stop loss here, you can see the calculated lots at the bottom increasing, uh, decreasing. So the long, the larger uh, stop loss. The larger the stop loss, the less lots because it's a wider distance. So it's auto calculated on that. I'll bring that back down to 10. So that's equity and the same with balance. Well, obviously equity is if you've got many trades open, um, the profit and loss of those trades will vary. It will be very different from the actual cap, your, your balance. So your balance is what you started with. Uh, what you haven't, it's the unrealized. So you haven't actually closed all your positions yet to actually say, so if you are 100 pips down and you closed all your positions, your balance will be 100 pips less. That's what I'm trying to say. So you can risk a percentage of your balance or a percentage of your equity, okay? Uh, down here, it tells you your cash, ri cash risk. Um, I'll go back to fish ca fixed cash, cash risk of 10 pounds. Okay, and uh, pip per value per lot. Each lot is worth one pound. Normalized volume is 10K and the lot value is 0.1. If you apply that, it then takes you to the uh, one click trade settings. Now you can use the forex position size and just for, you could just use that for calculating your risk. You, you can then use that lot size or volume in your uh, trading terminal without ha actually having any of the other risk management settings that I'm gonna show you now. So straight away you see the lots and the volume that were calculated on the previous page, okay? And uh, you can then set your slippage. So you don't, if you don't want um, too much slippage, you can actually specify how much you wanna use here. Uh, you can have max spread. So if the spread, if you're trading rapidly and all of a sudden the spread goes up to say five pips, but you, you're trading on very tight stop loss of five pips or four pips, you'll be stopped out straight away. So you don't want to lose trades because there's a high spread. So you can prevent your, well, every time you're clicking, say you're doing rapid scalping, you can prevent your trades from being closed as soon as they're opened at loss because your spread's too high. Um, here you've got basic risk. What this means is, um, every time you execute, if I save these settings and I just executed trades, you'll have every trade that you execute will have a 10 pip stop loss and a 10 pip take profit. You can obviously change these to what you want. That's the basic setting. Um, again, I'll just, while I'm doing, and I'll tell you this later on actually. Okay, then you can attach a break even stop loss. Okay, instead. What this does, it's saying that um, if you apply this, every time that the price gains 10 pips, it will actually move a stop loss to break even, and then you can add an additional number of pips. That's to cover commission charges or extra profit you wanna take. If you set this to zero, it does it in 0.1 pip. You can move it uh, as a 0.1 pip. If you set it to zero, it will just move to your entry point, okay? So that's a useful break, break even uh, feature. Uh, another one is attach a trailing stop. Okay, in this case it is, you can change it to what you want again. If the price has gained 20 pips, it will trail, I'm gonna put five here, it will trail five pips below the price, okay? It's, I think it's a bid price for buy and sell, and ask price for sell, whatever it is, whichever way around it is. So as the price increases, it will, the, the stop price will carry on trailing five pips below that price. If, it, if you gain 50 pips, it will be 55 pips below your price. As soon as it, it retraces the price, five pips, it will close your stop. So it's, it gains you maximum profits on a trailing stop in this feature of take trailing stop, okay? Um, the, the last one here is set a take profit or stop loss to the last swing high and low, okay? In this case, I'm on a five minute chart. Um, also the last swing high and low will depend whether, you know, if there is one being formed. So it will look at, what I'm trying to say is, it will look at the last time the price swung high the last time the price swung low, and it will put your, if I did a buy order, it will put my take profit above the last swing high and my stop loss below the last swing low. Um, so I'm just gonna make sure, I'm gonna do it on a 15 minute chart just to show you. You can do it on a one minute chart or anything you want. So if I do it on a, I gotta change this time frame to the time frame that you wanna use on the chart. In this case, it's a 15 minute chart. So I set the uh, last swing high and low to 15 minutes. I'm gonna add 0.5 pips as extra. Let me just save these settings and then I'm gonna open a buy trade. Okay, there's a bit of a delay there. That wasn't, be, that wasn't me, that was actually just going to the broker. So what it's done there, the last time it swung high was here, the last time it swung low was here. So it's given a uh, 15 minute, uh, 15 minute, 15 pip take profit, 15 pips take profit and 19 pip stop loss. So this will also work for the one minute time frame. Uh, let me just close this. Uh, this will also work for the one minute time frame. And if I put two orders there and I execute, it's gone and executed two orders, um, both with the same 
take profit and stop loss. Okay, I'll close those again. You can go up to 100 orders. So it'll do asynchronously. It'll submit all at the same time to the broker, 100 orders to be filled. They will be filled at different times, uh, but this will allow you to do multiple orders at the same time. Let me go back to the configuration panel again. So on the configuration panel, um, one click trade settings. So let me just try that again. It'll work for a one minute time frame if you had a one minute time frame. Let me just go down. So again, if it's a bit messy and there is no predefined last stop high or last stop low, what it will do, it will actually revert to your basic stop loss and take profit. Okay, as a fallback. So that when you execute a trade, um, it will just do your basic stop loss and take profit if one hasn't been formed. Because there are cases where um, the, the last swing high and last swing low hasn't been formed because the price is above the last swing high, for example. But mostly it will actually uh, do it for you. So I'll go back to the 15 minute chart. And what I want to talk about now is the stealth mode. Now it has built in stealth mode, which means that if you turn this on, the little stealth icon comes up. If I do basic risk, uh, 10 pip stop loss, 10 pip take profit. If I execute an order now, it's going to execute two orders, but it's not going to actually submit to the broker the stop loss and take profit. It's going to hold it um, in a place in memory as also on your machine so that if you're, if this crashed and restarted, it will actually take over your stealth orders. It has some redundancy built in, okay? But this needs to be running for your stealth orders to be running. So if I click buy now, oh, I've got close, I've got save settings. If I click buy, okay, what it's done, it's now done two stealth orders with 10 pip stop loss, 10 pip take profit. But as far as the broker is concerned, you don't have a take profit and stop loss. If you want to see your stealth orders, if you just click on this icon here, it's these are your stealth orders. So your stop, your take profit is 1.154. So if I just draw a line and it's 1.15427. Okay. If I okay that, now that is 10 pips above your price. Okay. So you can see that it's actually got the um, correct values for the um, take profit and stop loss. Uh, down here, you can see that it hasn't set them. So in memory, it's running. If, like I said, if you close this terminal completely and restarted it, it will remember. I'll just show you now. So I'll do the, just quickly show you. So if I closed, it tells you the stealth orders running. I'm actually closing the application completely down. Terminal's shut down, okay? If I start it again, and I open this, and then I open up the stealth orders. Stealth orders are still there. OK, once the position closes, obviously this comes out of the stealth order list. If you no longer want to run a stealth order, you can just remove protection by clicking on this. Do you want to remove stealth order? Yes. And you can also close the position. So you have the option to close the position. I want to close the position and it's closed the position. OK. Oh, because there was two positions open. That's why. OK, so the next thing I want to show you is this. So that's stealth order for the basic risk. Uh, the next thing you can do is a stealth order for the take profit and stop loss of the last swing high and low. So as we saw last time it set, let me just show you the last swing high and low again without a stop loss. So I'm going to do one order now. Oh, I've got to save that. This would be last swing high and low. And as you can see where the lines have gone for the last swing high and low above this point and below this point. OK, just let me close this. I go back to the settings and now I'm going to do it on stealth mode. So this would do the last swing high, last swing low on stealth mode. So again, it's executed the order, but you cannot see the take profit and stop loss at the bottom here. If I open up the stealth order panel, you can now see the uh, take profit uh, stop loss is 15142. Let me just draw a line and you should see that it's in the correct place. 15142. And there you go, there's the line drawn there. So there's your stop loss and take profit for stealth orders. I'll just close that position. Um, go back to the configuration panel. So you've got stealth orders for both basic risk and you've got stealth orders for both take profit and stop loss uh, on a last swing high and last swing low. Uh, it doesn't work for trailing stops because obviously the stop loss is moved continually and it's not set for a uh, break even stop loss. One other feature that you've got, or two other features you've got, is a lot of people actually trade 
and they have they have a set sort of uh, amount they want to win for the day or lose for the day. We have got an account panel as part of the widget collection that you can use to actually see your targets. In this case, you might want to say, I only want to win £10 a day or say £50 a day. That's my target daily is to, is to make £50 a day on trading. And I only want to lose £20. OK, once, I, once I've lost £20 or once I've gained £50, I want to stop trading. One of the biggest issues that traders have is over trading. People, people start making uh, winning trades, they start making money and they get greedy and they get too overexcited. And what happens is they continually trade. They hit their target, but they carry on trading. And this is a big problem. So with this terminal, sorry about that, it's every I leave this open. If you click selected these two and I save the settings, if I'm trading and I keep trading and I hit either the um, maximum daily winnings or the maximum daily losses, it will disable the buttons. It will actually tell you as a pop-up window saying, you, you know, you've overtraded or you've hit your winnings. You want to stop trading now. And it will actually stop you from clicking on these buttons. The only way to restart it is to close the application completely and restart the application. OK, this is to help you. I mean, we can't stop you completely from going in and trading again. But this is a feature to prevent people over trading. If you feel that if you think you're going to if you think about it, if you say I only want to make 50 pounds, but then you, you start clicking buttons and you make more than 50 pounds and you want to trade more, then you've that's your trade rules broken. Even if you could make more money and you feel like there's a trade there, you've broken your, your main risk that you want to put in place. OK, so this is there. There is no way out of it. It is to prevent you from doing that. And you can always turn it off. OK, um, there are other features on it. I'll just quickly show you at the end of this video. I'm going to show you the uh, profit and loss panel. I'll just put an order in. You can see it coming up. You've got the profit and loss panel. Tells you how many buyers, how many sellers, all the details you need to know, the spread. Uh, you've got a volatility panel. This tells you the current volatility. You can have a sound alert if it goes above a certain value. And you can adjust these settings here. Oops. Uh, we've got videos that explain these in more details. So you can look at your depth of market and your volatility. Let me just turn the sound off. Turn this up. And then you have um, live forex rates that you can look at. That's loading. Takes a bit of time to load. Uh, then you have another panel, which is to close all positions, close buy positions, close sell positions, close winners, close losers. OK, and then you have economic calendar. This is powered by FX Pro. This tells you um, this again. Each video will tell you this in more detail and you can have this full screen. You can minimize it. You can put it any size you want. You can drag and you know, put it in the corner of the screen if you want. Then you have market trading clocks and you can have as many clocks open as you want. And each clock can have different time zones. We've got 26 different time zones. Uh, the icon tells you that the market is open. Uh, and then we've got the help button. OK, so all of these widgets you can have as part of the widget collection and to access the widget collection. I drag this onto there. Let me just close down everything there. Uh, this is the widget collection you can access from clickalgo.com. So if you just navigate to uh, clickalgo.com, pretty much, and one of our products is called C Trader Professional Trading Software Widgets. And we're in the process of actually adding the content and videos for each one of these. This is just for the one click trading terminal. So if I click on that, it'll open up the one click trading, the one -click trading terminal page, which is this one. We're sell currently selling it for $19.99. Sometimes we have special offers. Um, again, it's got more details in here how to use use everything that you need to use. We've just described in the video. OK, so this is it and I hope you enjoy the software. Thank you very much.